Hey, Jamie from Female Motor here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about brakes, specifically brake calipers for Harley Davidson. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Brembo calipers that Fuel Moto carries for the assorted Harley models, and we're going to go over each each caliper series a little bit to tell you the differences, but about the three basic caliper styles we have at the moment, and uh, as well as the caliper carriers. So basically, for uh, later model Harley Davidsons, soft tails and tourings, we carry a, a radial caliper conversion kit. And as you know, um, there's there's going to be a little higher end brakes available uh, for your Harley Davidsons. And this has become really popular because as as bikes have you know gained a lot of horsepower and performance, you know one of the things that gets often overlooked is the braking on these bikes that can be uh, pretty dramatically improved. And one of the the biggest improvements you can do is uh, replace the calipers. So that's what we're going to go over today. I'm going to explain a little bit how it works, what you need. So we have three kits. Uh, they range in price from about uh, uh, $7.99 to the high-end kit is $15.99 and that's going to be a, a pretty well bolt-on all-inclusive kit for for these bikes for your tourings and soft tails. And uh, on the uh, the kits are going to include the calipers, the caliper carrier brackets, the um, banjo bolts and such, and really all you're going to need is some brake fluid and uh, some, some labor to, to get these installed and, and bled. Um, on most, most models, uh, there's going to be a direct replacement with the stock brake lines, which the Harley lines are very good. It's a, a very nice, robust line already. Um, the Stock bikes with stock stock height suspension are going to use most of them going to use the stock lines. Now the bikes that have raised suspension, like if you, a lot of the bagger guys or or such are doing the you know the the plus two tubes or raising the front ends up, they're going to need a little longer line, which uh, you're going to be able to order that from us as well. But uh, for most bikes, tourings and soft tails, you can use a stock line. You got to cheat a little bit on the M8 soft tail. Basically, what you have to do, you have to use a half-inch spacer under the, the block, under the triple clamp with a longer bolt, and it's going to let you cheat that line a little bit. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to talk here about the calipers and the, uh, the bracket kits. The bracket kits we carry are going to be a billet, a billet uh, carrier here. Uh, it comes with a left and right with all the hardware. We offer these in a, a raw billet, a uh, black anodized or a gold anodized finish, which you can see here has the stainless steel hardware, which is included as well. Uh, these come left and right, and uh, you get the, you can choose which, which bracket you want. And as far as calipers, we're going to talk a little bit about that. That's a big part of this. Now, each of these calipers is going to come with a double H full centered pad, which is a huge improvement already over the stock stuff. And they, they wear really, really well, even on the stock rotors. Uh, we'll talk about brake rotors in another video. Um, you know, great upgrade as well, but uh, you know, you really can install these calipers on either a stock or aftermarket rotor. We do a lot of the Gelfer and now the Lindahl rotors with these fantastic products for sure too. So um, the first caliper we're gonna talk about is gonna be the, uh, the, the Brembo M4 caliper, which is their, basically their, one of their uh, more basic uh, monoblock calipers. Each of these calipers is gonna be a monoblock design, meaning that it's a, a one piece one piece cast caliper like this. Uh, with the exception of, of the uh, 484, that one is a billet. That is actually a two piece. So, so basically the two, the two most popular calipers we're gonna have are gonna be the M4 and the GP4 RS. Both of these are really, really good calipers. A lot of them are standard equipment on a lot of your European or Japanese sport bikes and such. The Ducatis, Aprilias, all that kind of stuff. A lot of the bikes use, use these same calipers. Um, so the first caliper here is the, the M4, a really nice monoblock caliper cast. Uh, this one has a 34 millimeter piston, which is gonna give you a, a very, uh, I'm gonna say a, line, a, a really linear feel. So you're gonna get a, a, a very much of the same braking range at the lever as with the stock. And this is all talking about the stock master cylinder because all the stuff we're talking about today is gonna assume you're using the stock Harley master cylinder, which actually works really darn good with these each of these calipers. We have not really changed out a lot of master cylinders on the bikes we do on. On most street bikes, we're running the stock ma master cylinder. They do actually work really well. So the nice thing about the, the M4s is, is they give, like I said, a really linear feel. Uh, it's gonna give you, a, a, it's probably gonna bring the, the lever a little closer to the bar than with the stock caliper, uh, but you're gonna have a lot more braking power and, and it's considerably more, um, especially in the upper range of the lever. 
the brake calipers run cooler. The, the just, there's more, just more power for, for, the, for the brake there. Um, these M4 calipers are available in a titanium finish as well as a black, so they kind of can match your bike how you like. And uh, just really, really nice caliper that, that doesn't, it's not real super expensive, but it's a really, really great upgrade for the price. And we, uh, awesome caliper for sure. Second caliper we're gonna talk about is actually our most popular caliper. Uh, that's the, uh, the GP4RS. That is a, just, just a killer caliper. Um, the neat thing about this, it's a 30 millimeter piston. So it has four 30 millimeter pistons. And, and what that does is that, that gives you a real firm lever feel at, at, the, at the brake lever. Um, I actually run these on my own personal bike. I've had a lot of sport bikes and such with the same caliper, so I'm really familiar with that. And, and what the, the GP4RS is really fantastic about is like a real solid lever feel. Honestly, most of the time on, on my road glide, um, it's whether I'm you know, out in the mountains out in, or out in Sturgis or, or Black Hills or whatever, most of the time it's one finger, one finger brake. And this, I can honestly say with a stock master cylinder, stock lines, GP4RS, with, with the double H pads that come in it, the thing is so much brake, you're, you're really limited by tire, like how much tire traction you have. It's not the brake, it, it, it's that good. It is night and day difference. In most cases, if I jump on a different bike, the thing doesn't seem like it has, it has real brakes compared to this setup is super, super good. Um, especially, I, I'm, I like having a more firm lever and that's what that 30 millimeter, even more than stock, it's gonna be right, right, at, right at the lever. It's gonna be real solid braking. Uh, these are only available in, in the, the uh, titanium finish. And of course you get choice amounts with all these, um, but this is just a really, really awesome caliper for the money you're gonna, about a thousand dollars all in with the, with the mounts and such, but really, really, really strong caliper. That, that's, that's probably our favorite and best selling. Uh, definitely my personal favorite of all of them here. Um, the other caliper we carry is the 4A4 Cafe. That, that's uh, Brembo's billet caliper. This is a really nice caliper. Uh, the, the fit and finish of this thing is just, just, just off the charts. This thing is a, a billet caliper with a hard coat finish on it. Um, has the blue, the, so the red Brembo logo on there. And uh, again, really, really nice. This is a two-piece caliper and, you know, monoblock, similar to the monoblock design, but it is two pieces held together with the, with the three fasteners here. And uh, the one thing is, as you can say on the billet is, is there's a lot of claims like Brembo and such that there's less flex in a billet caliper. I mean, I don't know if that's at the upper end of the limit of, you know, MotoGP and things like that. Definitely a high-end caliper. Um, them calipers are unique and they have a 32 millimeter piston. So it's gonna put it between the, the GP4RS and the M4s. Um, I have some time on this caliper. It's, it's really, really good. You know, it's for the guy that really wants the high end, the best of the best type stuff here. Um, excellent caliper. Um, and you do gain the benefit of having that, that you know, the billet and, you know, the advantages that come along with billet over cast. Um, I don't think you're gonna make a bad choice with any of these. Um, you know, we try to carry something for every price range, you know, like uh, you get into these at $7.99 up to, you know, $15.99 for those. Um, and then with the GP4RS in the middle, um, just all around great choices. And, you know, one of the big things is, is we like to carry products and work with companies that, that that we can recommend that are that are high quality and you know Brembo that's they, they set the bar as far as calipers nobody matches that that's really good we got a great relationship with Brembo USA it lets us put supplies us with the parts to put these kits together and they've been fantastic and um, just all around it's one of those mods where you know if you're doing you know high performance engine stuff uh, chassis handling the brakes just really complement a lot of the stuff we do here really well because it makes such a noticeable difference. And you know, it's one of those things where you you know you toss a set of calipers on, and you know whether you again put a set of rotors on, and the um, it's just going to be night and day difference. It's really that good, and I, I, it's one of those things where it just uh, we've had a number of people ride some of our bikes and such, and they just can't believe how, how much of an improvement is over stock. So we're really happy to have these, these parts here. And if anybody has any questions, you're obviously always welcome to contact us. We're always here, 920-423-3309 uh, or fuelmotousa.com. And I thank you for watching. And if there's anything else you can do, you're always welcome to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.